All right. Uh, the election in Brazil will be watched very, very closely. But uh, now to a big development uh, that is coming in from the Indian financial sector. The Reserve Bank of India has announced that it will commence the first pilot of the digital rupee in the wholesale segment tomorrow. That is the 1st of November. Meanwhile, the pilot for the retail segment will follow a month later. Ritu Singh joins us now. Ritu, what are the use cases of this pilot? Well, firstly, uh, it is starting the 1st November when the Reserve Bank of India will launch the first pilot of this much-awaited digital rupee in the wholesale segment. And within a month, it will also commend the first pilot for the retail segment. But the use cases that you speak of, those are going to be very specific. The use case for the pilot on wholesale e-rupee is going to be for settlement of secondary market transactions in the government security market. Uh, this is expected to make the interbank market more efficient. And RBSS settlement in the central bank money is going to reduce transaction costs by preempting the need for settlement guarantee infrastructure or for collateral to mitigate settlement risk. Uh, now, going forward, other wholesale transactions, cross-border payments, those are going to be the focus of the future pilots, RBSS, based on the learnings from this pilot that is going to launch tomorrow. Uh, nine banks are going to participate in this. This includes uh, SBI, Bank of Brother, HDFC, ICICI Bank, and other public and private sector banks. Now, this is as far as the wholesale e-rupee is concerned. The first pilot of the digital retail segment rupee is planned for a launch within a month's time, but this is going to be in select locations in a closed user group uh, which will comprise of customers and merchants uh, but before I sign off you know the digital rupee is not to be confused with cryptocurrencies which of course RBI remains vehemently opposed to it has expressed serious concerns about cryptocurrencies saying they don't have under underlying value and they're essentially just speculative in nature the CBDC or the digital rupee is just the digital form of what is the sovereign currency and has the unique advantages that the rupee today has that is safety liquidity settlement finality and most importantly trust something that the cryptocurrency doesn't. All right. Thank you very much, Ruth Singh, for joining us with that big story. Let's move on now. With just three months to go for the union budget, the tax department is taking measures to augment revenue. Sources tell us that direct and indirect tax officials have asked field formations to refocus efforts on collections. We also learned from sources that the GST collection for October are likely to be over 1.5 lakh crore rupees. Tim C. Jepuria is here with details. Tim C., what are you picking up from your sources when it comes to revenue augmentation? Well, ahead of union budget, tax department has stepped up revenue augmentation measures. According to sources, both the wings of the revenue department, that is the CBDT and CBIC, they've asked field formations to refocus efforts on tax collections. Sources shared that the chiefs of both the boards have asked their teams to ensure sharing weekly updates ahead of budget discussions for revised estimates. In terms of what are the specific asks, they've included that as second half of the current fiscal begins, revenue augmentation should be the focus. Enhanced tax base, especially covering the new economy taxpayers, digital platforms that are avoiding taxes, online gaming and cryptocurrency sectors, focus on completion of pending investigations, non-intrusive and non-coercive measures to ensure taxpayers file their returns, pay taxes in time, disposal of seized items, including precious metals, plug loopholes, improve compliances, ensure efforts to improve taxpayers, user experience for online filing is being made. Remember, the budget estimate set for direct taxes stands at 14.2 lakh crore rupees, and for indirect taxes, it was set at 13.37 lakh crore rupees. However, healthy queues and collections in the first half of the current fiscal have made revenue department often express confidence that they will be able to exceed the budget targets. Let's see whether government revises the tax estimates or not. Back to you. All right. Thanks very much, Tim C, for joining us with that uh, quite important story. We're going to take a short break at this time, but uh, coming up, Rajiv Chandrasekhar, Minister of State at the Electronics and Information Technology Ministry, reiterates that Twitter would be expected to adhere to the same set of rules even under Elon Musk, says that the new IT rules are more about ensuring accountability. That's coming up. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 